Jerk Theory, Monday School Documentary, and action. I'm somewhat of an expert on the female species. She wants a commitment. Oh, well, tell her you don't want a girlfriend, brother. That'll make her want you even more. Brilliant. You know, dating's a dangerous game. That's why I play dirty. The theory's golden. <laughs> Hello. Oh, Cynthia Swenson. She was my girlfriend for three years. I thought we'd be together forever. Adam, did you get my text? We were voted prince and princess, so we thought we should go together. Don't worry, I got Margie to go with you. I did everything for her. She left me for that jerk. Mark Dixon. What a dick. So, after that painful and lonely summer, I decided that if girls would respond to the nice guy, well, I'd be the jerk. After what happened to me, I felt it was not only my duty, but my privilege to impart this wisdom to all the nice guys. There you go, buddy. Go, Eagle. Thanks, Cecil. Yes. There's only one thing girls want more than professional athletes. Rock stars. Hit it. What in the world was I thinking when I went and bought you those flowers and candy? I was thinking that every girl wants a nice guy, someone she can trust, but I guess I was not right. What is wrong with me? Or do I have to be a jerk so you'll want me? A jerk so we can be together happily? This time I'll use you If you ask me nice then I'll even abuse you Frequently I'll tell you You're fat and annoying Frequently I'll tell you I don't want a girlfriend What is wrong with me? Or do I have to be A jerk so you want me? Let's go, aren't you coming? Up, up. Oh. Why are you so cute? Got guess me? Adam. Adam. You don't appreciate me. No, I don't. What were you saying? Nobody will be, like, honest with me like you will. Are we really over? Honestly, you're kind of slutty and annoying. But I'll call you if I ever get lonely. You're irresistible. What is wrong with you? It's sad, but it is true. You're forcing me to play the same old stupid game. Cause you want what you can't have, so I have to treat you bad. I don't need to be so mean, but you're forcing me to be a jerk, so you want me. A jerk, so we can be together, have lovely. Together, have lovely. We'll be together, have lovely. Look, I don't care if you do like her. You just went out with her last night. You not call her for four days. Not, not, not four days, all right? After four days, you don't call her, she'll be excited. Rocked it! Yes! Did you see all those chicks checking me out, man? Woo! Hey, what's up, man? Hey, how you doing? Say hello to your new headlining band, huh? Hey, hello. You, you guys got attitude. That's a good song. It's enough to get you guys a showcase, but... But what? You saw the crowd. They freaking loved us. The pop-punk thing is fun, but the band we're gonna sign has got to have some versatility. 
But we've got hit songs, Jerry. Look, I'm just telling you that you guys gotta have more. Write a love song. Add some depth to your music. If I don't write about that stuff. <laughs> okay. You haven't been signed yet either. Okay? Think about it. I'll see you guys later. What are you trying to say? We're over, Mark. Oh, I can't believe you talked me into this. You can't do this to me today. It's game day. Hey, Superstar, what are you afraid of? That rope can hold a tank. The hooks, I don't know, but... No, I've done it myself a hundred times. It's easier than a prom day. Father Bailey. What? It's just a saying I heard a cool kid say at the hall. Does... Oh, you have a dirty mind. You do. Oh, that's... Yeah. Oh... I'm gonna have to have that bracelet back then. Oh, this blue light special? Ooh, Take it. Those are real diamonds. Mark, I know you didn't get in South Africa. Do you know how many girls down there want me? I don't need you. That's right, Mark. All you need is yourself. Come on, you're next. Let's go, let's go. Go, 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 go. All right, perverts, I got it. Get a haircut, kid. Okay, good job, Molly. Thank Listen, you. next time you'll do the rope, okay? Good job. Good job. That was good for now. Okay, who's next? So, he needs you to get the bracelet back? Who you know? Uh, I mean, it's not like it was an engagement ring. I don't think he's ever been dumped before. I'm just tired of being with jerks, you know? Yeah, I hear that. Never again. Ooh. Hmm. Who's that? Danny. It's the college guy. I'm going over to his place at 11. Oh, really? What? <laughs> I'll start tomorrow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> In about, let's say, five years, many of you will start to recognize these feelings, uh, and they will rise up inside of you like water from a, a deep, deep well, and, and, and then they will, they will cause these volcanic reactions of emotion um, that I guess are animalistic in nature, and yet perfectly normal. Uh, so most of you will feel one day these scintillating sensations. Father! Father Bailey! Under the constraints of marriage, of course. And yet some of you are perhaps better suited for the priesthood. <laughs> Get your foot off the table, Father Man. Any questions? Anybody, any questions? Is, are you, is that your, oh, that's your hair. Okay. Clement. Uh, Clinton? Clinton? Yeah. Is it true nuns are married to God? Yes. Yes, nuns have taken a vow of celibacy. Didn't you? Yes, yes I did. So, are, are you married to God too? <laughs> I think I know where you're going with this, Clifford. And I, I, I'm not gay. <laughs> and neither is God. Ask Sister Vasquez. Of course, you know, the wife's usually the last one to find out. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that concludes my unit on procreation. Our unit on procreation. Uh, kids, this weekend, let's try to keep the sitting to a minimum. All right, please, would you think about it? Try, you seniors especially. Anybody wants extra credit? There's a sign-up sheet in the hall for the Students in Action next Thursday night. And we have a guest speaker, and the theme is the fiery wrath of God, i.e. syphilis, gonorrhea, crabs, herpes, AIDS, pedophiles, needle warts. Oh, good morning, sisters. <laughs> Hey, hey, what should I do for my date this Saturday? Uh, do you like the girl? Blind date, but I heard she's really, really hot. You know what? Do something dangerous, like uh, like bungee jumping or rock climbing, all right? If she's uneasy and afraid, you'll actually seem more attractive. That may work. 
Look, just make sure she thinks you're the best thing in the world. Girls, they like the jerk. No, wait, not all girls like the jerk. Oh, you mean like Darcy or Denise, who we caught smelling her belly button then? Oh, oh, don't remind me about that. What about Nicole from Idaho? Oh, well, you get the, the heinous anus? For her? <laughs> Dude, she had an intestinal disorder. No, no, no. Cooking butt biscuits mm. and pulling the covers over your head is not an intestinal disorder. You guys actually remember her? Yeah, Thunderpants, the anal volcano, the death breath, oh. uh, the rectal rocket. Yeah, uh -huh. Hey, your voice has changed, but your breath is still the same. Oh, of course. <laughs> Any names I'm forgetting? <laughs> what? Uh, what? Oh. One on the desk, man. Penny Burper. Rectal rocket. Be funny. You need to stop letting your aunt set you up. Take control. That's my motto. Look, women will not respect you unless you demand their respect. Yeah, girls don't want nice guy. Let them know who's boss. Play yeah. him a nice guy. It's okay to be a nice person, but if you want to score, you gotta play the game. Miss Molly, you notice the difference between you and every other student here? They're sitting and I'm standing. Go easy on her sister. She got dumped today. Oh, I did not get dumped. I heard Mark Dixon say he dumped her because she wouldn't fit out. Oh. This is a song all about my love life. It's pathetic, I know, but that's all right In the crowd, there's a girl, she is pretty By the way, by the way, I was wondering what's your name? Thank you, thank you, thank you very much, thank you Give it up, Brad, down into this band Take a break, stick around yeah. And where the heck's Clinton? Hey, it's my move land on those bass tracks, man. Ah, look, look, let's not tell him, okay? He really thinks he's playing. Uh, huh? Yeah. Huh? <laughs> Anyways, what are you guys doing later? Blind date. Uh, uh, blind date. That she swore off I those. did, but it's an easy way to meet girls, and you know what? You never know. Hmm? Sometimes you do. What's the matter with you, dude? Hey, my brothers, what's happening? I saw a beach one special this afternoon and how chicks dig the black guy. After eight rounds of spray on I am a new man. A black man. Are you mental? Hey, it's hard out here for a pimp, Whitey. I gotta change my game. Hey, don't ever let me hear you talk like that, okay? Uh, uh, well, cool. just, just, cool. Try some Spanish. You look Cuban. That's not encouraging, Ryan. Wait, isn't Ricky Martin Cuban? I think he's Puerto Rican, actually. Man, a brother can't buy a break. Clint. Oh, 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 guys, isn't that that Molly girl? Not, not all at once? Come on. Oh. oh, you mean Molly Taylor? Yeah, she's, she's pretty hot, man. Yeah, she's fine. I heard she's dating the Dixon guy, but she really wants me instead. Naturally. I heard they broke up. What? Huh? Yeah, well, there's several versions of the story going around, but the one that's most believable is that she broke up with him. You know what? I have a secret crush on her friend Amy. Yeah, well, go talk to her. Oh, you know I'm not good with talking to chicks like that, so I got to set up. No, no, you should, come on, man. You got to take a risk and go out on a limb, right? Look, guys, I'm going to go talk to the girl that dumped my sworn enemy. All right, man. Have a pimping day. Hey, Clint. You actually look kind of fresh, though, man. I got to tell you. Where are you going to change? Your mama. Why you, why you got to talk about my mama? Adam. Uh, Hey. Candace, American history. We went to the burger. Right, 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 of course. You never called me. I thought we had a really good time. Well, you were a little <sighs> clingy. You should work on that. Oh, someone interesting. <laughs> okay. Call me. Hi. I'm Adam. What's your name? Molly. Is that a friend of yours? Uh, she'd like to be. What about you? Well, I think we both know that I could be, but that's not the question. Well, what is? Do lines like that usually work? 
Uh, well, I might have experienced a fair amount of success with them, yes. <laughs> Your song was really clever. Thank you, thank you. You're really good. You're really beautiful. Hey, Maddie, um, I'm gonna go with Steve, so I don't need to ride home. Oh, okay. Are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'll be good. All right, okay, see you later. Bye. She seems like a good time. Amy's really sweet. What about you? I'm a different kind of good time. Yeah, I've actually heard that about you. Does that bother you? I don't know, but I'm definitely willing to figure it out. Mmm, another line. Uh, you know, I've uh, been working on my delivery. Just... Oh, yeah, your delivery was fine, but it's the sincerity that was lacking. See you later. Well, hey, what about, uh, what about my goodnight kiss? Some other time. I'll have to arrange that. Dang. No number. In due time, it only inspires me. She signed up for the student in action meeting. Well, how do you know about that? Senoritas. What? That's a room full of vulnerable women. You guys, guys, I think uh, I see a group of Latin babes at a booth over there. Really? Oh, oh yeah. It is showtime. Yeah, man. Soak it up, suck it up good. All right. Now remember, you're not black. For shizzle. Okay. I'm feeling it. Okay. Go get him. Wish me luck, gringos. Good luck, okay. everybody. Hey. All right. Go ahead, man. It's your time. That's this is my your day. day. <sighs> He's going nowhere. Nowhere. Mm -hmm. Bonita, senoritas. Mi casa is a fiesta in mis pantalones. classroom is more than enough. Uh, I feel that sometimes perhaps another man's perspective on this issue may be helpful to you guys. But I would like to note that over the last year, the rate of teenage pregnancy has dropped 3% since I've been teaching sex ed. And so I, I, okay, okay. Please, sharing his experience, strength, and hope, welcome Mr. Danny Bonadouche. Hi, my name is Danny Bonaducci. Thanks, Father. And uh, I am a guest speaker tonight for Students in Action. Yeah, Danny, you rock, man. You rock, man. <laughs> she used to. Sorry, dude. Anyway, uh, I'm here to talk about a topic your priest likes to call the fiery wrath of God. I like to call it the consequences of casual sex. Now, why me, you ask? Well, let's just keep things honest. I'm here for a couple of reasons. One, I'm here to make up for a few hours of community service that I accidentally overlooked. But also I'm here because I'm sure a few of you have heard that I've had problems in my past relationships due to alcohol, drugs, anger management issues, steroids, infidelity, and my inability to tell a transvestite from an actual woman. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is, it's not just celebrities and politicians who have problems. It's everyone who has problems. Now, I have told you some of mine. Now, I would like to hear some of yours if you'd care to share. Anybody? Yeah, you right there. Good. Yeah, my name is Quentin, and I'm an addict. You're an addict? Uh, um, what are you addicted to? Uh, sex. It's just there whenever I want it. I, it's just right in front of me all the time. I, I can't get away from it. It haunts me in my dreams. I, I'm just addicted. So that's a total lie, right? Yes, it is. <laughs> Adam, why aren't you inside? Oh, I'm just waiting on somebody. I'm glad I caught you. We would like your band to play at one of the upcoming football games. 
The point is, you don't have to sleep around, which has been the bane of my existence. But I need it! Yeah, well, you're not dead. <laughs> when you make love in the confines of a committed, loving relationship, within the confines of a marriage, you forget to go all that drama that comes along with casual sex, possible pregnancy, thoughts of abortion, STDs, all of that stuff goes right out the window, and you can concentrate on the important things. Let me know what day you can make. Thanks. Oh. Ah, that's really sweet of you to be here supporting your friend. Actually, I'm just here to pick up chicks. That's not funny. Most girls here are really vulnerable. Vulnerable, yeah, that's what I heard. You're bad. Bad enough to get your number? I only give my number to good boys. Sooner or later, you're gonna have to yield, or I'm in tight with Sister V. I could have your number within five minutes. Danny Bonaduce, Cash around my wallet. Hey, no. still working on that number? I already got it. You should know I vigorously screened my calls. No, I wasn't gonna call you. I'm selling your number. First guy to give me five bucks gets the virgin cell number. Any takers? Anybody? Dixon over center, takes the ball back, fakes the handoff, cuts left, he's over for a score, touchdown, Soaring Eagles! Hey, didn't you used to date that guy? Oh, Unfortunately. Oh. I'm sorry, I thought you were talking to him, don't worry about it. I can't believe I gave up Adam Dines for that tool. You dated Adam Dines? He's the best boyfriend I've ever had. Don't let us act fool you. He's the nicest guy I've ever dated. Shh, shh, shh. It's ringing. It's ringing. Hello, tight thighs. <laughs> <laughs> How would you like to get with a fellow virgin? <laughs> You ever take a dump naked? Mm, I sleep naked. It's liberating. Ah, good to hear the usual intellectual banter. Hey, uh, you parked in the expecting mother's spot again. Clinton, pregnant women don't buy hot tubs. <laughs> well, speak of the devil. Yes, ma'am, how may I assist the two of you? Please tell me he's adopted and he's not your real cousin. Ah, uh, come on. He's oh. a good kid. What would we do without a phantom bass player, huh? Plus, if we get him a date to prom, uncle's gonna buy us new instruments. Oh, any ideas? Why don't we get Terry to go with him? That's a dude! Hey, look, baby, hey, hey, look, on the employment form, it just says Terry, right? The male-female box was left unchecked. I'll bet you five bucks to check. I'll bet you five more that it's a dude. All right, let's find out. Let's find out. Hey, Terry. Oh, hi, guys. Uh, sorry to interrupt. We, um, just realized that there's no emergency contact info on your employment form. Oh, sorry about that. Um, my dad's name is Terry. Oh, so you're named after your dad. Well, actually, I was named after both my mom and my dad. Her name is Teresa. Would you guys excuse me for a minute? I have to take care of some business.
All right, everybody, let's take out our pictures. We're drawing for our parents, and I'm going to come by and take a look, okay? Oh, what's this? Is that a garden? Yes. I like the garden. Is that a cloud? Yes. Cool cloud. I like that, Antoine. Nice. Oh. What is this, Jasmine? Mom and Dad exercising. They exercise naked. Ah. <laughs> Why don't we draw a flower, okay? You finish that, okay? Mom. I wanted to thank you for teaching this class. Oh, it's my pleasure. Kids are crazy about you, especially <laughs> Kate. She's so sweet. Mm. Hey, Molly. Hey. Sister Mary Catherine uh, says you're quite an artist. Uh... <laughs> Hi, kids. Hi, Father. What do we have here? What's that? Wow, oh, nuclear holocaust. Beautiful. And that's a flower. Oh, remember, next week's class is at the Dinosaur Museum, so the kids can pick a dinosaur for their project. Right. Uh, Father Bailey, who'll be driving the children? I will take care of that. Hey. Dude, what's up with all the Jane Austen books? Uh, they're not mine. Why do you have so many of them? Sister V's English class. Oh, I always knew you were a closet romantic. And you make fun of me? Boy, since fellas get a load of this. Pretty little girl. Okay, do you want me to clue the fellas in on how you psych yourself up for dates by listening to boy bands? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Guys are gonna love this. Oh, if you mean boy bands, you must mean Metallica. Yeah, I like that. Hey, there's Molly. Oh, so, when are you gonna ask her out, huh? Uh -huh. Right now. Watch and learn, brother. <laughs> Cut it. Hi, Adam. You look good. Do I know you? Funny. Uh, can we talk? Look, I kind of gotta go. Sorry. Hey, uh, I've sort of got some family stuff I gotta do. I really need to talk to you. <sighs> well, call me next week. I'll try and squeeze you in. Adam, don't try that jerk stuff with me. I'll blow your cover to everyone. I'll tell them how you used to write me love poems and leave them on my windshield every day after school. All right, that was a long time ago. It was last year. People change. I don't think so. I still think you're that nice guy who stood outside my window and sang me your invitation to the prom. Well, we all know how that turned out. I'm sorry. I wanted to tell you that for a long time, but I've just been too embarrassed. I got caught up in the whole popularity thing and hurt someone that I really care for. Yeah, it's, it's okay. No big deal. We both moved on. Well, that's just it. I haven't. I think about how you treated me, and I miss it. I'm sorry I wasn't mature enough to appreciate it then. Yo, Terry, what's up with all the phone? It's your end. I'll take care of that. Right. What are you Renobs doing? Testing out the Tidal Wave X500. It'll blow you away. This is take care of that. Oh, Clinton! You promised us you were wearing a suit when we got in. What? I am, man.
Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. Hello, my child. What's on your mind today? Women, Father. Well, women are a natural problem to be dealing with. How long since your last confession? Uh, I'm not here to confess any sins, Father. I'm confused. Go on. Father, do you ever wonder what it would be like to have a normal life? If by normal life you mean finding my soulmate and falling in love and she's kind and nurturing and she loves me just as much as I love her in spite of my flaws and we get married and have children and, and I coach my son's baseball team and one day walk my daughter down the aisle and they have kids and so we're grandparents and then we retire early and I buy one of those huge RVs like at least a 60 footer satellite TV and we travel around the whole country together. No, I, I've never thought of that. Besides, I have you kids to take care of. So what's up? Um, well, there's this girl that I like that... She's not really responding to the way that I am, but then there's another girl who says she likes the way that I was, but then she... You know, when she dumped me for this guy, I, I don't know, it really hurt. Well, that could be a good thing because that experience will teach you what a good situation is when you get into one. Uh, I don't know. I, I, I really don't think I'm ready to put myself out there again. Well, you just have to find yourself a nice girl. Oh, I have, but Mo, she, she wants nothing to do with me. Well, they say the Lord works in mysterious ways. So your penance for uh, well, I'm not your, your penance for being prideful and not confessing your sins are one Hail Mary, and tomorrow you chaperone your little sister's grade school class to the museum. That's it. Go study biology. You're getting an F right now. Go. F. sorry about the whole virgin thing. Yeah, you don't have to apologize. No, I, I want to. All right, it was wrong of me to make fun of something like that. So, what's your favorite animal? My favorite mammal is the dolphin. I could swim with them last year in Hawaii. You know, the dolphin is the only animal to actually uh, have sex for fun. I know. That's why they're in my top five. <laughs> What's your top one? Uh, I'd have to go with the wolf. Huh, a wolf. Did you know they're one of the few animals that mate for life? Uh, did I say wolf? Uh, yeah, I don't like wolves. I meant the Brachiosaurus. Look at these crazy looking things. What do you think happens when one of them gets a flu? Probably takes it a week and a half to throw up, huh? <laughs> Right? We can have. Oh, gosh. What if they have red mango here? Oh, 
Molly. You know, you're really good at that. Yeah, uh, kids are art. Both? It's a gift. Thanks. So what's your gift? Uh, well, music, I hope. I've heard your music. You're really good. Thanks. Good enough to uh, get you to come see me play on Saturday? Oh. Maybe. I want to date with Silent Sarah again this weekend? You know, after three dates, I'm done. I swear we haven't had an actual conversation. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> Let me guess. Tyra had a special on how women like gay guys, right? It was a rerun of Montel. I really think I found my in. You've got to be friends before you can be lovers, baby. <laughs> okay. That's good. Thanks. Thanks, Glenn. I'm not even curious. He's desperate. Now, I don't know if desperate quite covers it. Any hot dates lately? Yeah, she had a great body, but a mustache. Oh, man, why can't you just find a regular girl? She can get that wax. Trust me. Ah. <laughs> oh. So did you get Molly's number yet? Uh, but guys, this is Molly. Hi. So you got Molly's number? Nah, well, well, she made me work for it. But hey, if anything, at least we got a song out of it, right? Huh? Out, man. Huh? It's more like here. You coming? Bye. Too much. Come on, please. You and your friend? Hi, beautiful. You're in my head. I've been watching you from the bar. And I just had to come in for a closer look. Boy, am I glad I did. You've really got my number. What can I have yours? Do I look desperate to you? Scram, loser. I'm as straight as they come. Sure you are. Yummy boy. This closet's is closed. Some place that'll really get your adrenaline pumping. You're not scared of heights, are you? Heights? Uh, yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm actually terrified. I had this really bad experience once. When I'll take care of you. <sighs> it looks like you have a left. You have a foothold to your left. Um, that yellow one right there. I can't. It's a little bit of a stretch. You got it. You got it. Mm. it go ahead. Just, just leap of fate. Do it. <laughs> there you go. Nice. <clears throat> All right. Um, if you can try to reach the yellow, the big one. Up there. Get, get, um, uh. Oh, okay. Why'd you finally go out with me? 
No, no, it's okay. You're not going anywhere. Oh. Why'd you go out with me? Um, because I felt sorry for you. Oh, uh, right, right. No. You okay? Uh-uh. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, here, I got you. You're not going anywhere, okay? What if I fall? No, no, you're fine. All right, I promise, I promise. Okay. All right, she's ready to come down. What? I just, it's okay. Hey, look, you're fine, you're fine. She's come not going to let you fall. Come just on. let go. Come on, trust me. All you gotta do is sit back, and I'll take you all the way down. All right? I promise. No, I'll go. I promise. Hey, oh. hey, hey. Trust me. Okay. Just let go. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> <Here> go. <laughs> See? I told you. There you go. <laughs> Woo! I did it. Ooh. That was amazing. So, did you overcome your fears? Uh, heights or you? Oh, both, I hope. You are not going to be that easy. But tell me, what is your biggest fear? Rejection. <laughs> it's the first time for everything. Ah, <laughs> burr. <sighs> Chester, you checking up on me? Hello. Hey, what are you still doing up? Dude, it's not even midnight. I was just calling to see if your day was as bad as mine. What happened? She was really into honesty. Too much info, you know what I mean? Nope, I do not. Well, uh, after dinner, she told me that she needed to go to the ladies' room to throw it all up. Oh, a refunder. Yeah, so how was yours? It was fun. I mean, he needs a little work in the manners department, but it wasn't half as bad as what had been told. It was a little awkward, though, when he dropped me off. Why? Well, he didn't walk me to the door. And then we sat in the car, said goodnight, and he gave me a hug. Whoa, wait a minute. Where's the part where he tries to seduce you? Ah. You've been reading your sleazy novels again. I don't read fleas. Okay, so let me get this straight. He didn't even try and kiss you? Well, earlier, yes. But then he said he felt something he hadn't felt in a really long time. Uh-oh. What was that? Respect. I can't remember the last time I felt that for a girl. I need to get you to bed. Ooh, you gotta take me to dinner first. Like, I mean, I, I wanted to ask her out right away, but I figured I'd give it a little time. I'm loving it. When are you seeing her again? Friday. And I would have gone out sooner, but I didn't want to seem too easy. I don't seem too easy, do I? You're asking the wrong girl. I would have jumped him in the car. <laughs> so, what are you saying to this guy to get him to ask you out again? No. Huh. Maybe I should try that sometime. Here we go on the phone. I call her up. I ask her to a show I'm a fool I can't play it cool That's okay Hi. Cause baby I'm a tool Tell me what to do Just tell me what to say Tell me it's okay Don't be afraid Cause soon I'll be away My first and only date with you, I hope you'll tell me what to do. Here I go, I'm in my car, I pick her up, I'm doing well so far. I tell a joke. She doesn't laugh, I guess I choked, and tonight I'll get the shaft. Tell me what to do, just tell me what to say, tell me it's okay, don't be afraid. Soon I'll be away, my first and only day. With you, I hope you'll tell me what to do.
that, a true gentleman. Like Here I go, I'm on my own. I had a chance. I think I blew it long ago because you know I am a fool. I don't know how to play the game. Is that okay? Or am I lame? Or do I need to go away? I'll come again another day. Oh, forget just what I said Here we go I'm at the show I try to talk But yeah. the conversation slow Uh-oh It shows Yeah, I'm a dork And my chances hey. Hey. are so low okay. Tell me what to do Just tell me what to say oh. Tell me it's okay. I love him. Oh, wait, can you hold on? I'm gonna put him in the water. Okay, okay. Go ahead. My first and only date of you. I hope you'll tell me what to do. Tell me, tell me what to do. Don't you want to... Yes, I want to. And that's why you have to go. Uh, uh, <sighs> You're so hot! Yeah. Uh, oh, you're funny. Yeah. 
You're hilarious. Um, I meant speed. Oh. Oh. Just. Oh. Hey guys, what's going on? Hey. What's up? You know what? Amy here was just saying how none of these guys will ask her to dance. What? You gotta be kidding me. I know. You look amazing. Thanks. What a bunch of losers out there. <laughs> Would you like to dance? Yeah. <sighs> shall we? We shall. Thanks. So, how did I land the rock star? Well, at first, I figured you were just like any other hot chick. Girl, 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 any other girl. But after you continued to reject me time and time and time again, time again, I realized that I'd been wrong. Well, you were being a jerk. Yeah. You know, I wasn't myself for a long time. You know, I didn't like any of these girls that were into me at the time, but with you, well, I really had to reconsider things. this. <laughs> what, vulnerable? Yes. <sighs> Why? Because you're more emotional than physical. Well, do I have a choice? You know what I mean. <sighs> I do. I do. I just, I don't trust it. And I need you to let me know that, that it's okay. Get the message? <laughs> I'll see you Thursday. Good night. Night. This is liberating. W you changed my life. Now I feel at one with nature. Hey, who is calling? You guys are gonna be late for lunch. Hey, how'd it go with Molly? Oh, great. Except I'm starting to realize that action is a lot like air. It's not that big of a deal unless you're not getting any. It's sad, really. A healthy young bull snipped in his prime. You have no clue what you're talking about. A real man would have sealed the deal weeks ago. Hey, I wonder if a lack of action can affect you mentally. <laughs> you tell us, Clinton. Yeah, Clinton. I heard that if you go too long without it, you can get an astigmatism. I believe it. I swear my vision's getting worse. Don't be a moron. Who would ever believe that? Oh, I think I'm getting an astigmatism. You know what? I don't know how much longer I can keep this up. What do you mean? Well, I think that we should take us to the next level. Well, you don't think I want to? Believe me, I do. But a relationship built on sex makes it more likely to cheat when an attractive opportunity presents itself. Nice theory. That's retarded. Opposite of Viagra. He's mine. It's today, girls eat free. Today. There's my first and only love. So, John, you got my homework. Hey, I need, hey, I need to borrow your notes, dude. I hate algebra. Yeah, but I still need to borrow. Head case, six o'clock. Darcy. Why don't you love me? I love everybody. Why don't you love me differently? Is it because I like to look in your window and watch you sleep? Because I thought we had moved past that. What's wrong with that? I'm just learning to love myself first. And it's not only that, okay, Darcy? Look, first of all, you sabotaged his face page. You sent him so many emails that his server crashed. And on top of all that, I saw you in the boy's bathroom, stealing his underwear. Once. Okay. Now listen, Darcy. Just because he's a nice guy, doesn't mean he's interested, okay? 
As soon as you're ready to board this crazy train, you let me know. You let me know! Hey, Terry. I saw you took the weekend off. Uh, any big plans? Yeah, I'm going to take Brandy out to a day spa, treat her to a nice weekend. Oh, sounds nice. Nothing like a little bit of R&R &R to get her in the mood for a little bit of relaxation, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I hope so, but um, she tires out pretty quick. You know, she's getting up there. How old is she? Next month, she'll be 77. There you are, Brandy. Come on. You're such a good girl. That's dog use. Wave goodbye to the curious boys. Bye. Hey, did you ask Molly to prom? Tonight. Got it all planned out. What about you, Romeo? Man up and ask Amy yet? Yeah, I'm just waiting for the right end. I get so nervous around that girl. Why is that? Hmm, girl pair, will you? Ma'am, I promise you, one night in this baby with the Jet Set on High is better than eight Chinese guys from the mall working you over. What does that mean? Clinton, you got a phone call. Uh, some girl and her friend. Mommy? Uh, I don't think so. Couldn't really understand her, but I think she was looking for a Reuben Stutter. Sweet! Yeah. All right, sorry about that, guys. We tried to have him fired, but his dad kind of owns the joint. Anywho, anything you touch is we consider you, so if you buy this bad boy today, I'll knock off 500 bucks. Sold. Awesome. All right. It's I got it. Okay. Hey, uh, Connie, these wonderful folks here would like to purchase the Superjet 5000. Let's give them the Clinton discount, huh? Jenny, hey. Look, last night was amazing. But you know what? I'm kind of sick and tired of being your sex toy. Besides, I'm seeing someone new. Very funny. Is that supposed to make me proud or jealous? Well, whatever let me see you tonight. I'm gonna be there. Oh, hey, hold on a sec. Amy's calling, okay? Hey, girl. <coughs> oh, Ames. Ames, what's wrong? <coughs> okay, don't move. I'll be right back. Hey, it's Amy, and she's freaking out. I can't understand her. All right, we'll put her on. Okay. Who is it? It's Molly. Hey, Molly. I just want to ask you if you thought Amy would go to the dance with me. <laughs> Molly? What's wrong? Hey, don't cry. Listen, I, I know Adam can be a jerk at times, but... Who is this? Who's this? This is Molly. Who's crying? Amy. Oh. This is Clinton. Sorry. Hope she feels better. Bye. Hey, sorry about that. She won't stop. All right, all right, Amy. Amy, listen to me. Calm down. Calm down and tell me what happened. What's she saying? What? Who died? Cleopatra! Siamese cat Cleopatra died. That's my hand. Adam and Amy, hold on, okay? Hello? Molly, that's Mark. I've been thinking about you lately. Mark, can you hold on for a second? Adam, talk to Amy for a sec, okay? Listen, Mark! Yeah, clever. Not buying it. <laughs> Sorry! Mark? Molly, there's something you really need to know. Mark, this is not the time. I'm It'll really... Just take a minute. I'm coming over tonight. <sighs> okay, but just for a minute, okay? I'll see you then. Amy, just one more minute. I'll be right back, okay? Adam? Hey. Hey, everything all right? Yeah, but she's really upset about her cat. I think I need to have her come stay at my house tonight. Is it okay if we rescheduled for tomorrow? You know, my dog's a little sick. Can I stay over too? <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> All right, sorry. Yeah, tomorrow's fine. I'll talk to you later. Okay, thank you so much. What's up? Uh, Molly's having Amy spend the night at her house tonight. That's great, we'll drop by. I got the perfect thing to cheer Amy up. That's all right, you know what? You, uh, you go ahead, I'll pass. Well, if you do something nice for Amy, then you'll score more points with Molly. Oh, waiting. Hello?
heard about your cat. Oh, that's really sweet. This is Celine. I don't think I Who recently was the daughter of Cleopatra of Egypt. My aunt works at the animal shelter, and she told me about some new arrivals that just came in. Why don't we go feed her? She looks really hungry. I think I have some cream in the fridge. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, are you okay? Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, ooh, I'll, I'll be right there, okay? Yeah. You yeah. Mark, hi. hi. This is a really bad time. Listen, it'll just take a minute. Uh, all right. I have friends in the other room. Do you remember the Valentine's dance last year? We had a great time together. I figured that with prom coming up, it could give us a fresh start. Mark, you know I'm seeing Adam. That's the other reason I came over. You should know he's seeing Cynthia again. Yeah, I'm not quite sure why you're telling me this, Mark, but I trust Adam, and I don't think that he's seeing Cynthia. Wally. Coming! Hold on. This has got to hurt. Deja vu all over again? Are those for me? They're for Amy. Amy? Amy's not here. But I'll let Molly know you drop by. Oh. Was someone at the door? I uh, had some flowers sent over to ask you to prom. It's a surprise. Oh, I hate surprises. Can you tell me? Uh, you'll find out. Just meet me at the steakhouse at the Pearl Hotel tonight at 9 o'clock. You're not going to pick me up? No, no, I've got something across town. I'll meet you there. Amazing. Thanks. Um, I would have waited for you in the oh, restaurant. There was... Actually, I, I had something else in mind. Oh. Um, well, I thought we could order in. What do you mean? Well, um, I wanted to let you know that, uh, well, I've really enjoyed getting to know you. I think you're right. You know, it's, it's so much better to know someone before you get involved physically. I'm glad you feel that way. Oh, I, uh, I do. You're the most amazing girl I've ever met. So, um, tonight I thought we could get a little closer. Adam, we've talked about this. Yeah, that's all we ever do, is talk about it. I think I've been really patient with you. Patient? You think you've been patient with me? I feel like an idiot. Have you just been saying these things to me to get me to sleep with you? Uh, no, I've meant every word. All right, doesn't it mean anything to you? It means everything to me. That's the whole point. Well, then why can't you take this relationship to the next level? I, I've told you why, because I think it's something that's worth waiting for. You just don't get it. This is the real world, okay? This is normal. You, you can't expect me to just, just I wait. I I'm hearing this. 
Uh, I just, I think we're too different. I'm sorry. I just can't do this anymore. I'm sorry you feel that way. Thanks for the blank key. I'll be right there, okay? I'll be right there. Just, just stay there. What's wrong? I gotta go. Molly needs me. I gotta go. I just got a text. Oh, yeah, you text, huh? I hate texting. You're not textually active? No. You know, it's made flirting with Amy so much easier. If I say something stupid, I just say Clinton stole my phone. <laughs> What's the matter with this ducking thing? Ducking? Yeah. Dude, you're such a moron. Why don't you just say the real thing? Hey, I got a kiss by Mamba with this mouth. Yeah, and she's the only one you're kissing. Hey, not for long. Hey, shh. Here he comes. Listen, do not say anything about what happened with Molly, okay? Please. Hey, man, why'd you do it? I've never seen you that happy. Clinton, we just wanted different things, all right? Wanting other things is okay, as long as you want each other more. Look, I don't want to hear it. All right, look, the song's a little dark. You guys follow my lead. One, two, three, four. Hello. I watched eight seconds last night, and I bawled like a baby. Plus, Lane Frost, he gets all the leads. Yeah. So it goes. All right, let's get her done. Get her done. Ooh. Bring her once. He tried the way he's nuts. Show me attitude and humor and now anger, but you've never shown your soul. I just don't see enough to sign you guys. I'll see you around. And that was low. Like, you have no idea. All right, I took your advice. I was the nice guy, and I got burned again. What are you talking about? I was about? at Molly's. I saw dicks in there, all right? Adam, don't. Don't.
What was that song about, anyway? Why do I get the feeling that there's three of us in the car? <sighs> Sorry. You know, you never were great at talking about your feelings. But your music, those are talking for you. Thanks. that crap you pulled with Molly. Whoa, whoa, hold on a second. Those flowers you tonight were from Adam, not Dixon. And they were for you. What? Wait, wait, wait. What are you talking about? Dixon dropped by just as I was gonna ask him to dance. He started dogging you to Molly. We're in the other room. It's all here. Look. Push play. Hi, this is a really bad time. Mark. Listen. Where's Molly? <sighs> Amy. She went with Mark. But that's because what you did to her was so horrible. Hey, Jerry, it's Adam. I've got something I want you to hear. Hey, guys. Hey, dude, where you been? Well, I've uh, been working on some things. You guys going to prom this weekend? Of course, you know. We are. Clinton's still working on his. Yeah, he's went through the whole high school directory already. He's now working on the eighth graders. Sweet. Yeah, good luck. Hey, Clinton, my dog's free. Hey, why not with your mom? <laughs> nice. Yo, mama jokes? I like that. <laughs> Yo, uh, you guys know if uh, I'm always going with Dixon to prom? Yeah, but I don't understand why you don't want me to talk to her about it. Look, I think I got it covered, all right? Here's some new music. Make sure you guys get a copy of that. Got it. Mark, just uh, wanted to let you know there's no hard feelings. And, um, well, got these tickets that I purchased for prom. They're yours if you want them. Better man than I thought. Huh? You won. Eat up, buddy.
Yeah. Good. Thanks. Hey, Mark. Do you think you could get us a couple drinks? Don't you have a date? Come on. Please. Thanks. You're awesome. Exciting. <laughs> so how is it um, dating a block of wood? <laughs> I think you prefer stud. Oh, but... Okay. Hey, at least I'm here, you know? Yeah. Watch out, I gotta get in there. Tickets? I gotta get in there, my date's in there. Sorry, no tickets, no problem. <sighs> ah. oh, you can stay, you can go. Still I'll never be the same, but I hope... Prom ticket? Car keys. That's right, boys. I don't have my tickets. Sorry. <laughs> oh, 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 wait, 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 I can't do this. Listen to me, listen to me, okay? You know the night that Cleopatra died? Mark didn't bring you those flowers, okay? Adam did, for me. What? I'm sorry that I hurt you, can you tell me it's
you let me in or I'm going through you. This whole jerk theory thing because the truth is that anybody will tell you I was the nicest guy in the world when I was in high school and I had a girlfriend and she was she was smoking you know what she was hot she was like dirty hot and she was nice and she said she loved me and then she like just suddenly dumps me for another dude I left you for God that doesn't make it hurt any less you know that was uh we had three years together I mean, you were my you know, first and only, and and then all of a sudden, so what do you get being a good guy when God's always going to trump you no matter how good you are? I might as well be a jerk. How are you guys getting along, by the way? Molly, Molly is a girl like no other in this world. She's so cute. Ooh, ooh, ooh. There's one thing that there's so few. Ooh, girls like you. It's true. Ooh, she's hot but a prude. She's fine. She's almost divine. Jerk Theory, final chapter. Adam, the Jerk Theory. <sighs> the Jerk Theory. Well, I was the jerk. And, uh, well, in general, I'm a nice guy. Didn't really work at first, or so I thought. Uh, you know, I guess when it comes down to it, you find the right girl, you just be yourself. For me, I realized that, uh, well, the nice guy does win. Might just take a little longer. Can't touch a booty, yeah, trust me, I've tried. She's fine. She's almost divine. She's mine. Oh, oh, oh. she's fine. This is good old Father Bailey uh, here. Uh, I got some bad news. I witnessed a student uh, uh, passing out a uh, nasty bout of uh, cold sores before last period. And uh, now I don't want to disclose any names, but uh, I can personally attest that Brandon infected Heather and Robin. But, but I didn't give last dates. I didn't say Johnson. But in due time, I see you shotgun in the ride. But we come first. I'm interested on how your mind works. Explain some things like your dreams and your date of birth. I want to know your first love and your first jerk. Let me know how he didn't appreciate your worth. But said he decided to treat you like dirt. Yeah, yeah, of course I heard the same thing from her. She asked me to promise that I would be different. But I laughed and I said, girl, you got to be kidding. Because I'm a flirt, flirt, a jerk, jerk. Girls try to make me do, but it won't work, work. Because I'm a flirt, flirt. Jerk, jerk, girls try to make me jerk, but it won't work, work. She's a good time.